Just yards from where it once ran, a group of keen volunteers are reinstating part of the Royal Arsenal narrow gauge railway. This dual gauge rail layout, it is hoped, will soon bring passengers to the magnificent restored pumping station at Crossness in South London. Building the first narrow gauge passenger railway in the south for over 80 years is not without problems. Specialist tools can be bought, borrowed or built and rail building skills can be learnt, but the cost of actually laying the rail requires cash and quite a lot of it. The cost of laying just one metre of track is £30. We have over 700 metres to lay. That is a total cost of £23,000. With only a few thousand pounds, the Rang team have achieved great things. They have a two foot gauge diesel loco with carriages currently under restoration. This will be bringing the passengers from the car park to the pumping station. They have on loan an 18 inch Avonside locomotive, will it? the last surviving narrow gauge motive power from the Royal Arsenal, which is also under restoration. It is hoped that this will be steaming on special days. They have also laid an extensive amount of track, both in the engine shed and in the engine yard. Access to earth moving equipment has been made available to the team so that the ground preparation work can progress. Without the funding for rail, sleepers, ballast and fasteners, the work will slowly grind to a halt. This would not only be an awful shame for the volunteers who have worked so hard, but also for the potential passengers and also the improved access to Crossness Pumping Station, an iconic visitor attraction in South East London. Please make this project work maintain our railway heritage. So can you help? We don't need to raise the money in one go. All donations, large or small, will be appreciated. Larger donations can be rewarded with such perks as footplate rides and your name or company name displayed on the track side. If you can support us in any way, please do. We are doing all we can to save part of our industrial heritage, but we can't do it without your help. Thank you.